on this day. I hope that it is as blessed as you are. And if you sit over there on the other side of this camera and you like, Nina, how am I blessed? Like, I don't even have this, this, that, and the third, and I'm still, look, let me tell you something. Are you seeking the Lord? Then you're blessed. Have you found the Lord? Then you're blessed. Are you trying to come out of sin? Then you're blessed. Are you delivered from sin? You are blessed, okay? So, <laughs> y'all, I just really pray that you guys understand that you are truly blessed just because you are you know, given the access to God, like you literally have access, direct access to God. You don't need nobody to speak to him. You don't need nobody to hear him. You literally just need yourself and Jesus and you're good, right? But look, um, right now, what the Lord has me talking about is the prophets that disobeyed the Lord thinking that God will forgive them and that they're still going to enter the promised land, okay, if they repent. But literally, God gave them direct orders. Um, specifically, women prophetesses, okay, you know, and somebody actually corrected me when I called myself a prophet and they were like, do you mean prophetess? And guess what? God said, delete that because it's disrespectful. You're my bride. You can say what you want. You should still understand what I'm saying. But anyway, I love him. But y'all, right now, this is just the Lord. Um, he wants to say something specifically to them, prophetically to them. Because, you know, when you're in the will of God, you got to understand that your life is going to align with somebody in the scripture. So whether you're the disobedient Israelites, whether you are the Isaiahs or, you know, the John the Baptists or you're the Moses of the Bible. It really just takes you to read it to find out, okay? And some people forgot about this scripture right here. So we going to dive in the word. Hey, and I don't need no floaty when I'm diving in this word. But um, anyways, Deuteronomy 30. Four. Okay. Deuteronomy 34. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord shewed him all the lands of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh. And all the land of Judah into the utmost sea and the south and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees unto Zoar. Ooh, don't it sound so lit? It's so amazing and beautiful. Yes. Land flowing with milk and honey. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land. Look, this is how I picture it. Oh my goodness. I'm so animated. But this is really how I picture it. This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine own eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. So he's like, I gave this land to you and your seed and Abraham and this, this, and that, but you ain't going. But you will not go over there. And so Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him. In a valley in the lands of Moab over against Beth Peor, but no man knoweth of his sepulture, sepulture unto this day. And Moses was in 120 years old when he died. Oh, he probably lived, they probably lived that long because they had no GMOs, they didn't put no steroids in the chickens to make it bigger because there was a huge famine and all that crazy stuff. And putting poison in their food and things like that. And feeding them squirt and tell them it's beef. And okay. Relax. So yeah, <laughs> they look so old. His eyes was not dim, nor his natural 
force abated. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of the Moab 30 days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua, the son of them, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. And there arose not a prophet since Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. And all the signs and the wonders, it will do that, which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and all his servants and to all this land. And in all that mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. Woo! Child, you know what? I don't even know where to begin. We're going to begin where I just ended, okay? So look. It's showing you, like, yo, Moses was that prophet. He was that for real, okay? Like, he was he was lit, all right? He was lit. He, he knew the Lord face to face, all right? He said there was no prophet, no prophet like him. He did all types of signs and wonders. I mean, he parted the Red Sea. He didn't turn a staff into a snake. And he did some crazy things. He caused blood to go into the river so that Pharaoh could fear God and let them free, right? And it scared everyone in Israel. You want to know why? Because it showed that it doesn't matter how powerful you are. It doesn't matter how prophetic you are. It doesn't matter how talented you are. It doesn't matter how close you are to God. It doesn't matter how much you hear him. God does not play you when you are disobedient. So imagine everybody looking like, well, if Moses just died, what, do, what does that mean for me? Like, I gotta get it together. Because this is Moses. This ain't no regular, regular, schmegular. We talking about Moses right here. Okay? That was the right hand. The go-to. Listen. This is saying a lot right here. But the thing is, he was promised the land. He was supposed to go to the promised land. Okay? It was his own actions that prevented him from entering it. And matter of fact, so much so that he died. So think about it. Do not find it so far-fetched and so unbelievable that these women prophetesses, okay? These prophetesses that God is saying will die or go to hell because of what they said about the bride of Christ, a.k.a. Nina Eternity, a.k.a. me, okay? Or what they didn't do, their disobedience, their lack of faith. Because his lack of faith, him just hitting a rock and yelling at the Israelites and telling them off, okay? And reading them for their whole life, that caused him to die. So he wasn't out there getting drunk partying. He wasn't out there chopping people's heads off. He wasn't out there doing nothing too crazy and extreme. But since he was looked at as, you know, a respected prophet, you know, because he did these miracles, because he he was in the face of these people um, leading Israelites, okay? So, to whom much is given, much is required, like the Lord said. And so, people are watching you, and you're doing this, and you're doing that. You think they don't pick it up. They see it. The Israelites saw his lack of faith, but he's telling them to have faith. People see you. People see your insecurity, whether you know it or not. Okay? People see through you. What do you think? And the Lord is leading me to speak about this. Because I was talking about how, like, how I love me some donuts and some coffee and some crab legs, okay? I, I love the glazed ones specifically from Krispy Kreme. If you, look, 
I ain't gonna send you my address, but I will open up a P.O. box if you wanna send me some Krispy Kreme donuts and put them in a little heat. Okay, I'm doing too much. Anyway, listen, the whole point is, I was talking about how greedy I am because I am very, oh my goodness, I love food, specifically snacks, okay? But then here go, here go a prophetess uploading how healthy they eat. And oh my goodness, like, I love to eat, um, you know, fresh lettuce. And I have to go to Whole Foods. And carrots, I eat those for breakfast. And I love grapes, 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 grapes. Like, literally... That's not what they said, but that's how I feel it in my spirit. Like when I use voices, if y'all see my videos, I use all types of voices, all types of like um, accents and things like that. And very like an, like an actor or actress, but that's literally how God sees things. Because mind you, I'm the bride, so I feel how he feels it. This is how he sees it. Oh my God, like I'm so perfect and I like to keep my body in shape and like, <laughs> I'm just so, ah! Look at me and my healthy eating. Look, I don't care about none of it. All right, I love me some fruits and vegetables. I love it. But do I have my days where I want some donuts? Actually, yes. Actually, yes. <laughs> but I love mangoes anyways. That's my favorite fruit. Like, I can eat, I can eat mangoes all day. But, um, yeah, look. Anybody got time for that? <laughs> Let me go back to the word. So prophetically, the Lord is saying that it doesn't matter who you are or who you think you are. If you're not obedient to him, you will be like Moses. It's prophetic. It's prophetic. He wasn't obedient. He didn't do what the Lord told him to do. He didn't even meet it. Look, right before the Israelites entered the promised land, guess what? Boom. Period. Straight like that. And people might think that I'm very insensitive. The way I talk about like things like death and things like that, you know. But I'm just very real and I put my emotions on a back burner when it comes to the word of God, when it comes to prophetically speaking, because you cannot bring feelings like people bring their feelings. Actually, I saw this um, seasoned prophet, right? And she said something and it really hit. She said, do not bring your emotions when you're doing um, when you're doing ministry, when you're speaking a word of God, when you're prophetically speaking or, or reading the word. Do not bring your emotions because people can pick up on it, whether they say it or not, whether they congratulate you or not. There's people that's in your comments. This is the Lord. Hallelujah. There's people that's in your comments that are like praising you, you know, clapping and, you know, glory to God. Amen. God bless you, sister. But they pick up on certain things and they're like, mm -mm, some ain't right about that. They can pick up on that. I'm just saying. It. Um, But yeah, people are, look, whether they up here in your mind or down here in your mind discernment is discernment we can pick up on all of that okay but um jesus that's why the lord it was prophetically written right in the lamb's book and i'm just saying the lamb's book because it's not in the bible but he speaks to me about it and everything all of this is written right but yeah um that all the females that have insecurity it will be a very deep insecurity and it will lead them away from the path that God has for them, okay? And the men as well. The men, it's okay, with the women it's insecurity and with the men it's lust. Every man is lusting, okay? But every man is not doing it to the extent of God saying, look, you can't enter the promise because you're clearly and blatantly disrespecting my bride. Boom. Um, you will die or you will learn, go to hell, blah, 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 blah. And actually, there's a certain musician who, you know, God had me exposed. And then God told me, gave me a dream about him, about how he repented. And, you know, he regrets it. And God sees that. But if, if, if he was to go against that repented state and continue to, you know what, be like, you know what, actually, I want to really bop, you know what I'm saying, like, da, 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 keep doing whatever it is. God will be like, all right, so I'm going to take that back. Like, you took it back, I'm going to take it back too. Like, this is a, this is not a one-way street. So, yeah, God forgave him, and he seen his heart and how much it really hurt him, okay, and how he doesn't feel right about it. So, as long as he keeps that up, guess what? You in the right hands, period. But um, as for these people, it's like, look, some people are going to die. This is just blatantly, I mean, it's clear. 
Some people will die because they're not being obedient. Before the before everyone goes and enters the promised land. Um, wow. I mean, this is deep. This is deep because just like it's written in the word, how much time? Just like it's written in the word of God that many will say unto he's saying is this is going to happen so this is not a might this is not a oh well all of these people are going to hear this bible verse and all of a sudden you know be like look we all can get this together and there there won't be one believer that's going to sit there and say this no he's saying that there will be people of god not unbelievers people of god that will say to him lord lord then i prophesy in your name did not do this didn't I make Facebook posts about you? Didn't I uh, go make TikTok videos about you? Didn't I proclaim your name? Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I make gospel music? Didn't I, didn't I? And he's like, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I do not know you. So people think, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are just so good. As I'm doing this video, thank you, Lord. I love you so much. As I'm doing this video, he reminded me about how he wanted me to tell y'all that there's people out here worshiping God to look holy. That is just sad. You know what? I got scripture for that. It's a reason why they got... Look, there's scripture everywhere and there's a reason for it, okay? So we're going to go to... Scripture... That talks about how you should worship God. Oh yeah, there's a specific way. Oh yeah, because God's that kind of God. Oh yeah, because he's righteous and he deserves it. Period. There's people out here worshiping God to please men. To make them look holy. I mean, I just don't understand what is the point. I, don't, I just don't see it. I'm still searching for the point in things like this. Okay, so John 4 and 24. Hallelujah. And this is Mommy Ann speaking, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship him in the spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. That's how you worship God. Jesus. You must, so that means when you worship him, it has to be in the spirit and in truth. So what is that saying? Some people are not worshiping it in the spirit. They're worshiping in the flesh. Hallelujah. And then there's not, not everybody's worshiping him in truth. They're worshiping him in falsehood. Their worship speaks a lie to him. That's, that's awful for your worship to lie to God. Your, your words don't even got to lie to him. You don't even got to talk to him to lie. Your worship can lie to him. And God is like, that ain't me. I don't know what you're doing down here with your hands raised. Palms sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. But listen. Mm -mm. Falling out on the floor. And it ain't even a spirit. Let me tell you something. I fell out on the floor by worshiping in my own room, right? I mean, I don't, I couldn't move. I was like, just out like a light. But um, one, I didn't need church to do that. And I didn't need people around. <laughs> and two, um, everybody who does that doesn't do that in the spirit. Like, I don't know. I just, I think it's crazy. Like I can tell, like I watch videos and I'll see people like falling out, acting crazy. And my spirit is automatically, because the spirit is truth, right? So I can see a lie within the matter of a millisecond. And I'm like, that is not the spirit of God. That is not, I don't know what that is, but look. But anyway, yes, there are people that will not enter the promised land because their prophesying isn't in spirit and in truth. Okay, they're speaking based off their emotions. So look. Mm -mm -mm. We, look, I ain't mad at these people. They just need to pray. They need to pray. I pray for them. And this is, the Lord said he's disappointed 
He's disappointed because I share my testimony. I share what I've been through. I shared how I was suicidal. You know, I, I share so much about my life. And for these people to be told by God, the most high God, the one who is to be respected and honored and praised and obey, you know, they didn't listen to him. And it's he's disappointed because he's like, you heard her story. You heard how people wanted to set her up. You heard, you know, you heard everything, how she was suicidal. You heard this and you have no love in your heart because you want to know what is deeper than them disobeying. They all came to the conclusion that they wanted me to cry. That's That was their point of not sowing a seed. You want to know something? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me show you how I'm literally Jesus's wife all the way and how like he really like he just knows. He just knows everything. And he knows me. And he's just, he's a good guy, right? And he he's he's so good because he really changed my heart and changed my mind about everything. Because listen to this. This is how they wanted it to be. Jesus. Oh Jesus. Why me? Why me? Why me? Oh my Lord. Why didn't so see? You said your word never returned, boy. Oh, oh God. Oh, what am I gonna do? I need money. I don't know how to get more. And I need it. I want more. This ain't even right, man. Forget this, man. Forget this, man. When when God told me that there was people that were waking up because of my videos and that they're starting to see music as demonic, uh, secular music as demonic, and how they're waking up. They're just period. They're waking up. That, it melted my heart so much. I was like, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Like, I was just pouring out to him, and I was just so happy and excited and filled with so much joy. I was just like, oh my goodness. I, I was so happy. Like, words could not explain. Um, like, I literally, I think I cried. I'm pretty sure I cried because people were waking up. Like, people um, that you would just never think would be open in their eyes, you know, and really receiving it. So, it made me emotional. And when God told me that these prophets, this is before they didn't sow, right? God was like, they're going to sow seeds. He, was, he started naming prices that they were going to sow, this, this, and that. And this is what I say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you in advance for what you're about to do. Thank you in advance for um, the seeds that are going to be sown to me. That just shows me. That just shows my heart, where my heart is. My heart was more so focused on the value of souls being saved from the pit of hell than money. I wasn't that excited about it because even when he told me that they didn't want to sow to me, you want to know what I said? Thank you, Lord, for whatever you're going to do. That's going to be 10 times better, 100 times better. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for, um, you know, knowing that you still make a way no matter what. I wasn't crying when I found that out. Are you kidding me? How childish do you have to be to make somebody want to cry because they're so happy? So you know what that shows about these prophetesses? They're miserable. They're unhappy. No matter how much they get on this camera, like, and you know what? I'm going to do it because the Lord said it. <laughs> he laughed at it, actually. But these people are just not happy, and it's sad. And it took this situation to show that. Um, glory to God. He's so good. I love him. <laughs> I know I say it so much, but he really is. Like, he's amazing. <sighs> he's just everything. He's everything to me. But um, he's amazing. So, yeah. They wanted me to cry, fail, complete fail. I didn't cry at all about that, at all. I actually cried when he said that souls are being saved and that people that were so like astray from the Lord and wayward and completely drowning in their sin is waking up and want to follow the Lord. That made me cry. That, honey, money is just like baby, baby girl, <laughs> baby girl. That didn't do anything. Uh, but just allow me to see how unhappy and miserable these people are. So, yeah, I mean, and that's why he's about to do what he's doing because he said that 
that's just not like him and you're making yourself look bad and those spirits are rubbing off on your people because you're touching on certain things but you ain't touching on the things that you should be touching on you're touching on certain things because it's bringing a uh, it's bringing increase to your channel or it's bringing money to your channel but you should be talking about sin you should be talking about you know the word of god still it don't matter but look y'all Get excited. Get excited. Why? Because those of you who are chosen, like the chosen generation, let's just be real. Because it's crazy how all of these people that are older, it's like, were they the ones who broke the curse? I, I don't know. But they, they were the ones who led other people to break the curse, I guess. I don't know. All I know is that the generation that's rising is this generation, my generation, because I don't hear none of those females hating on me. My generation, literally, they're like, they're happy for me. They're excited for me. Like, they're complimenting me in the spirit. I can hear it. So it's like, that jealousy spirit, that Jezebel spirit, broken. It's broken. But, yeah. I pray that you guys have a beautiful, amazing day, week, month, and a year in Jesus. Ooh, that. And Jesus mighty, holy precious name.